between Lex Luger holder of the Southern title and the Ninja with the Florida title. This should be an exciting match. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is a title versus title match. Introducing first, coming to the ring from deep in the Orient, accompanied to the ring by Sir Oliver Humperdinck, currently the Florida heavyweight champion, the Ninja, and his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 281 pounds, currently the Southern heavyweight champion, here's Lex Luger. This match is one fall with television time remaining, title versus title. Lex Luger and the Ninja, the Southern and the Florida title on the line. And you're talking about one of Japan's finest in Ninja and one of America's finest in Lex Luger. And what a monumental battle this is going to be. The Ninja, see his man carefully now. They lock up head on. And it's Luger outpowering the Ninja. On the outset, it's Luger outpowering him. Well, you can look at these two men and tell, of course, that Lex Luger is the most powerful of these two men. But now a ninja is a Japanese-trained fighting machine. They are trained in all phases and aspects of the martial art. He is trained in judo, jiu-jitsu, karate. He is well-trained in wrestling. This man is very dangerous and very deadly. So what he might lack and strength compared to Lex Luger, the ninja will make up for an intestinal fortitude and skill and knowledge. He's been trained all of his life in how to inflict injury on an opponent. And the man is quite well at that, very well. Excellent move that time by the uh, ninja. And uh, the ninja, Luger finally springing free from that head scissors. The ninja circling him once again. And once again, these two men squaring off against each other by headlock by the ninja. Remember, both titles on the line at this point in time, the Southern title and the Florida title. And the ninja did not go down as Luger caught him with a powerful shoulder smash. Now the ninja comes off the ropes and he could not take Luger off his feet, but Luger brought him up into a full body slam. And the ninja back on that one, and I'm sure he's uh, thinking about uh, thinking this one over again, and he's uh, checking him. Caught it, uh, caught one in the nose, and so the ninja, watching him carefully, once again, they square up. Well, you know, Gordon, if uh, Lex Luger wins this match, he will have the Southern title, the TV title, and the Florida Heavyweight Championship. Very few times in history that has any one person held all three titles simultaneously. I would say, too, that uh, I would venture to say that if Luger accomplishes that fact, that then, in my opinion, he will indeed go on to win the World Heavyweight Championship from Ric Flair. Because uh, it's an unprecedented situation for any man to hold three titles at one time. The ninja caught in a hammerlock now by Lex Luger. And the ninja very quickly makes it over to the ring ropes, and that'll force the break. Two, break the hole! And uh, the Luger catching him on the break. And so uh, Luger's going to take every opportunity he has to uh, put this man, the ninja, down. Well, that's really the only way to do it in professional wrestling. This being the toughest sport in the world, you have to take full advantage of every opportunity, even if it means throwing a forearm or a knee lift on the break, right there because you know full well that the ninja is going to use everything in his power and in the power of Sir Oliver Humperdinck to defeat Lex Luger. So you have to fight fire with fire. But right now it came down to a test of strength, and with a test of strength, no one, I don't care where they go in the world, I think can stand up to Lex Luger. There's Ninja right now, just slowly circling, thinking about what this next move is going to be. Very methodical in his mannerisms in the ring. He knows exactly where he is. There's that big karate kick to the midsection of Lex Luger, going for an abdominal stretch. And abdom this is a submission hole now. Does he have enough strength to hold Lex Luger in this? That's the whole thing uh, right now. It's uh, the Ninja taking advantage of the extra experience that he has, has Lex Luger in uh, ascending guillotine Luger. Uh, straining now as uh, 
Ninja trying to get some more leverage. And Luger arched at that particular time and breaks the hold. But uh, Luger has paid a price for it. He has paid a price. Right, I tell you, that is a very painful hold. Earlier today, I believe a match was won from that very same hold. But Lex Luger, being the power man that he is, he was able to power out. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to cut away for a commercial break at this point in time. Should a pinfall or submission hold occur while we're away, we'll bring it to you. Right now, let's pause for these words. Either man has been able to score a pinfall or a submission hold yet, although it's a front chancery by Lex Luger right now that may have the ninja in trouble. The ninja fires back to the midsection, fires to the midsection again. Catching him under the rib cage and it's Luger exerting every bit of strength and power that he's got. Back up a full body slam now by uh, Lex Luger and Luger. Now going for the Boston Crab. Luger's got the Boston Crab. Luger's got that Boston Crab. Humperdinck and uh, this is a submission hold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Kendo Nagasaki just charged the ring, and it's Luger after him now. And uh, well, we've got some interference going on here. He's got him up in the backbreaker, he dumps him, he catches the, the ninja, and it is uh, Lex Luger against uh, both Kendo Nagasaki, and he's also after Sir Oliver Humperdinck. And wait a minute, they're leaving the ring, and it's Kendo Nagasaki, and uh, the ninja leaving the ring, and Lex Luger. Now, wait a second. And so, wait a second, Luger's coming out of the ring after uh, Sir Oliver Hupperdink. Uh, and Hupperdink, Hupperdink went the wrong, he took the wrong door. He hit the street. That's the door to the parking lot. That's <laughs> right, he hit the street. And, uh, well, I wish we could see what was going on out there. But wait a minute. Wait a second. Ninja and Kendo Nagasaki went to the dressing room, and it is Lex Luger who's got Sir Oliver Hopperdink. A full body slam on Sir Oliver Hopperdink. It's Lex Luger catching him with another full body slam, and he's putting the boots to him. Hold on. The ninja just came into the ring. The ninja just returned, and uh, now Kendo Nagasaki is in there, and Luger's got his problem. He's got two of them after him. And it is uh, Luger battling back now as uh, and Sir Wait a minute. Cowboy Ron Bass catches Luger from behind, and they're all on top of Luger now. They've got Luger down. It's the three of them in there, Sir Oliver. Wait a minute. Lex Luger battling his way back to his feet. Mary Windham has hit the ring, and they're pounding away at the uh, there. They are tearing up some sanity, if you know what I mean here. Lex Luger and Barry Windham and uh, Bob Roof just hit the ring. Man alive, I'll tell you what action. And uh, a little gesture there by Lex Luger. And our time is completely gone. Our time is completely gone. You know, there's a lot of things going on here right now. And Luger had a lot of people on his tail. Ronnie Bass, everybody's going to be taken care of. We'll be back next week. <laughs>